Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. What if you guys, it is Sassy Assassin here, back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Foodie Beauty, aka Everyday Miri Ham's videos titled Grocery Haul in Kuwait and Pate Chino's Canadian Shepherd's Pie Mukbang Recipe video. So Without further ado, folks, let's get to. Who spent all this money on chicken strips and cheese? What the hell was that? Hi, welcome back to another video. What the hell was that intro? God, my, my God, is this how it's going to be? These weird intros, like, ugh. Anyways, let me just get through this cameo and I'll be right back. I'm not about to com to promote her cameo. Anyways, let's get to. So I have a grocery haul for you. I'm going to be cooking, like I said, we've been eating out a lot, way too much. Up until like now, we've just been eating out. So other than the cooking you've seen and some breakfast and that here and there. So I'm going to show you what I got for this grocery haul and I'll tell you the prices at the end. I did, we ordered from two different places online this time. So um, yeah, so let's get to, let's get to. All right. <laughs> so first we have some apricot juice, apricot nectar. I have a broccoli. Shouldn't you be really watching it with the juices, Chantel? That has a lot of sugar in it. Broccoli mix, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. We have some chicken strips. Now because... Uh, Ramadan is coming. They have a lot of good sales, and they also because uh, Kuwait National Day is coming, like it's a holiday weekend, holiday week coming up actually. So they also had some good sales. Uh, we have. I want to try these. These are cheese flavored chicken fillets, crunchy ones. I air fry those when I'm craving like fried chicken. I have some corn. I really want to make a cottage pie, so stay tuned. Um, two. So so far, pretty much everything except for maybe one or two things. You know, the, 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 the frozen veggies, um, maybe the fish that she has there. I see that she has fish. Uh, um, beef, uh, meatballs. Like, I don't, I don't know necessarily that bad, but like a lot of, you know, the chicken strips, like the cheesy ones, you didn't need to get that Chantel. That, that is not diabetic friendly. Things of beef meatballs. These beef meatballs are really good quality and they had them on sale. So I got two boxes. A whole chicken, a couple of beef stock cubes. I'm letting her try this cheap, but we already got her wet food. But we're letting her try a can to see if she likes it. Um, we have some Parmesan cheese. We have some apricot jam. This with the labna for breakfast on bread is so delicious. I'm not gonna lie, I I love apricot jam. I, I love apricots. They're so good. Um, but you know, regardless, you watch it with the jams unless it's like a sugar free, like low sugar, sugar free version. Um, which I, I, there is a place that I go to get a, a, you know, a lower sugar apricot, uh, jam and it's really good. It's kind of expensive, but you know, I don't have it every day and it's, you know, it's worth it because I'm not the only one that uses it. And, um, I love to have it with my oat butter because, because I don't eat, I don't like have regular butter on the normal because of you know i'm trying to watch the the fatty foods and stuff like that and 
So, um, yeah, it's just really good. If, if, if you can get your hands on some oat butter, okay, like, try that with apricot apricot jam it is so freaking good on an english muffin too mm. a whole wheat a whole wheat english muffin oh it's so good some cooking cream this is like processed cream cheese spread kind of like craft um so yeah some cream processed cream cheese spread you don't need that shanta you shouldn't be having stuff like that cheese this is good on like paratha or like chapati bread or it's good to add to like pasta sauces and stuff like that to make like a rosé. We have some Gouda slices. These are so good. These creamy Gouda slices for like grilled cheese or something. We have some two packs of halloumi. Oh my god. Cheese, we have two cheese, packs and of more mozzarella cheese. cheese shredded. All this freaking cheese. Like I get it. You know, I my, my mom, like we, we like our cheeses too. Okay. But like we don't get as much as this. I mean, so maybe some mozzarella sometimes. My mom and dad like American cheddar and Swiss for the, you know, I'll. Okay, I'm not a big cheese fan myself, but you know, um, I, I, my favorite is Swiss. I it used to be American cheese, but you know, I do like Swiss a lot better now. Um, but this is just way too much. Yeah, I like goat cheese as well. And some frozen Brussels sprouts. I love, Brussels. I like feta too. Brussels sprouts, some more tomato paste, a huge staple here. I'll put that here. Okay. on the stand here. <laughs> and we have some full fat yogurt, plain yogurt. I use it like sour cream basically and I really want to make some fajitas. So full fat yogurt. You have a fatty liver and you're eating full fat yogurt. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I literally can't with this bullshit. Oh my god. I try to go for, you know, the, the Okioys has the, the protein, you know, low fat, low sugar yogurt. It's a little, it's, it's expensive, but, you know, worth it. Vanilla yogurt, I even buy a tub of the unflavored if I want to add it to a smoothie. Or I, I've even made like a, a dipping sauce with like ranch, you know, ranch, like powder dipping sauce with it. And it's actually really, really good. I've done several things with a with un, with some yogurt, and I have a really good I have a good Amazon mixer that's like the, the dupe for the um those really expensive ones I can't remember what it's called, but um I don't I would full fat yogurt and you have a fatty liver I just don't get it and all that cheese I don't I don't I don't get it I don't get it. It's and it, it, it's not about the just about the but the, uh, it's not ugh. Not just about the fatty liver, it's also about the diabetes. Like what what are you doing, girl? She she has no intention of of trying to uh, trying to help herself with her weight, with the diabetes whatsoever. What she thinks is healthy is not healthy. Stay tuned for that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she is insane that she's not getting some veggies and stuff. Like she is, I do see that, but like, my god, Chantel, do you really need that much cheese? Do you need all that that big thing of apricot juice and full fat yogurt? Do they not have like a low fat yogurt? Do they not have hell even coconut or almond yogurt as a you know as a replacement? Or oh they even have oat faced yogurt, which is oh oat milk. Oh, like oat yogurt oh my god it's so good it, it it can be expensive but you know it's good it, it is really good well all right i'm gonna put a second load up here and i'll see you soon there's so many alternatives out there that are more friendly for your her for her diabetic friendly you know for the fatty liver as well and she's just not even even bothering to try those alternative options i mean do they not have the alternative options over there in kuwait is that what the d issue is or does she not afford it maybe there she just this can't afford it at whatever grocery store she goes to is there like a higher end grocery store in kuwait that she that, that just out of her price range i didn't notice right away that my shirt was unbuttoned but luckily i have a shirt underneath 
you know why it's on, why it's on button, Jean Dell, because you're 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 literally have you have gained so much weight you barely being able to fit in your clothes. All right, so I'm starting this round with Alci Zero Sugar Cola. <laughs> it's a different brand. I'm gonna try. It's from also from Saudi Arabia. Put you up here. Have some water. Some zero Sugar Cola. That's not bad. You know, I I drink zero sugar. You know, soda drinks. Okay, but not like multiple times a day. I have I say I have it like once a day or once every other day. So I make mine spin out. And all of them are decaffeinated because I, I don't do caffeine. I know that's crazy. Right? People are just like, how can you not do caffeine? I started to do caffeine when I started working, and it's just like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe when I start working again, I may try, try caffeinated products. That, you know, when I start training, and working again, it, you know, um, I'll do caffeinated pro start caffeine again, but not right now. I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm trying to find a better alternative to caffeine. Something that doesn't have that crash, you know? I've heard of several things that could possibly be better, but like, I just, I, I don't know. Stay hydrated, guys. <laughs> All right, I have some, four sticks of unsalted butter. Four, uh, three things of labna. Which labna? Is that another cheese? Two jars of pasta sauce. Four cranberry juices. I ordered four. And it must have come in a pack of six. They just took the two out. Some tuna fish. Okay, cranberry juice is not bad. If you have a bladder infection, that's pretty good, you know, on the go. Also put that here. I got some tikka masala paste. I want to make chicken tikka masala. <laughs> in this bag, I have a huge 5kg thing of basmati rice. Oh, what a, oh my charge god! Me. That's a lot of fucking rice. I've never seen a bag so big. But what the? F and what the? F this shit like I can't. Mini fan. And this is a workout for me. I know pathetic. I have some minced meat. Oh my god! Yes, it is pathetic. You putting out great groceries as your form of a workout, girl. We are like okay, not like so close in the same weight class, but like. Let's say close enough, okay? Uh, you know, I've yeah, I, I've lost 22 pounds, so I'm further, you know, more than 22 pounds now, so I'm further and further away now from her actual weight class. But like, I have mobility issues, so I feel like I sometimes that I weigh more than I actually am, you know, because I have my days where it's just you know fibromyalgia and then sciatica gets bad, but like you know, I still I still push through, you know, I'm not like I refuse to be, be immobile, but like, um, Chantel, never in my life, even at my heaviest, was walking around the kitchen my, a workout for me. A workout, in my, in my opinion, is taking a walk or, um, you know, riding a bike or exercise bike, going to the gym, like, you're not even really moving that much. Five percent from chilled New Zealand beef. Go take a walk, Shanta. Like seriously, you have a pool in your complex. Go s take a swim, Mike. If, if I had, if there was a pool in my complex that was open, you bet your ass every I'd be down there every freaking day. Every morning I'd be at that pool doing laps. This is like for Ramadan, for when people come over. Um, something to put out. This is mamul. Very, uh, it's like a date cookie with date inside. And this is covered in white chocolate. Ooh, so really good. That, sound, that actually sounds good. That sounds good. I would fuck that shit up real fast. <laughs> that and Turkish Delight. Well, I, I love Turkish Delight. We have some chili flavored tortilla for some fajita. <laughs> uh, we have some olive oil, completely out. Some chicken tenders. Plain tenders, some white bread, um, some macaroni. White bread, whole wheat, Chantel. Not, oh my god. Was that like a racist, a, ra a racial reference? I don't get that. What, what was that? 
Let's see that again. I don't understand where, where she's... What was that? What was that? Plain tenders? Some white bread? <gasps> what was that? Um, some macaroni, the long one, and some short one. Like two kgs of onions, red, some nice looking romaine, and some green peppers. Yes, we have no more from that huge haul. Okay, you know what I never see her ha do, like have like a actual fruit. Apple, an apple. Like, do they, like, what the hell, Shanta? Like, some of this is okay. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not dissing, like, everything. But some of this is like the ch the, too much cheese, especially like the 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 that processed shit. Like why? Wait, yolo. God, she is really struggling. Making one trip. Yeah. I like mixing butter and olive oil when I'm cooking. I'm gonna use the meat. And do you know how much fat that is? God, it, oh my god. I, you know, the thing is, like, I'm a, like, I have a thing about eating butter these days. Like, I know it's people just like, don't, don't make a big deal out of it. You know, it won't hurt you. But it's just like, when you have a fatty liver and you're trying to heal that fatty liver, like, I'll, I'll stick to my oat butter, or my almond butter or whatever. Well, oat butter is actually le like the less, most less fattening, whatever. And Do it, so I'll put it in the fridge. Like but I would never mix olive oil, olive oil and regular, even if it's unsalted, olive oil, olive oil and butter. There's still a lot of fat in that, Chantel. What are you doing? Chicken tenders. Labna? Now I'm she's trying to in the fridge. I don't care what anyone she says. Can put her Feel free to give away. me your feedback in the comments, but I tried leaving them out and they grow those like legs things and the antennas. And then they don't last as long. So I'm putting them in the fridge. I cleaned my fridge today, so it's not hard. I don't have to move things around. I love it. Ugh. Fix the door. And I can't bend all the way, so I just throw the food in the fridge. Ugh. Oh. Got some bread here. Olive oil can stay here on the stove. Pasta. These I'm gonna freeze. Cupboard, cupboard, cupboards. We have many litter bags now. I also got a thing of paper towel. Since I've been in Kuwait, I have not, this is the first time buying paper towel. We usually use tissue paper or um, reusable towels, but whatevs. All right. Almarai mixed berry juice. Our favorite juice My here. My God. How many of those do you know? And this is just five kg of potatoes. It looks like russet. Maybe. How many juices do you need? That is a lot of sugar, Chantel. You are type 2 diabetic. At this point, she must be wanting to lose a limb. Lose her eyesight and shit. She, she, she's just really just jumping headfirst into this. Maybe. Yeah. They're dirty and they smell like earth. Phew. <laughs> Potatoes. Gonna be eating a lot of those. Um, but that's, yeah, that's it. That's it for this haul. So I'll put the prices um, somewhere here. I'm gonna see how many meals I can get out of this. <laughs> you know, hopefully a lot. Potatoes, rice, we have for a long time. Um, a huge bag like that lasts me maybe a couple months. So, but I don't know. If I'm cooking more and not ordering, we'll see how long these things last. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it for this haul. I hope you enjoy. We all know this is this whole I'm gonna cook at home more isn't gonna last. It's just another you know, impulse of Chantel's. Uh, let me know in the comments how much you typically spend 
on groceries per month or every week or whatever you want. Um, it varies for us because we order out a lot. So I'm trying to nip that in the bud. And Why? Why do you need to know how, how much we we spend, Chantel? And try to just cook. So stay what, are you going to criticize us for for um, how much we spend on groceries? Tune for a cooking video. Like I said, I want to cook some things. So stay tuned for that. Um, probably the next video to come out. And of course, I'll see you in a live stream. <laughs> Bye, guys. My God. That was ridiculous. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next one. Hi, welcome back to another video. If you want to be a cool... Nope, I'm not prom promoting this woman's cameo. Yeah, no matter how cute you look, you're not getting any pâté chinois. Hello guys, so this is no my way, way okay. of making pâté chinois, a classic Canadian comfort food. I'm going to start with boiling potatoes with some salt, and then I'm going to add butter and olive oil and sauté some red onion. It's just one diced red onion, and I'm going to let them cook down very, very well. And then another pan, See, I have some olive oil. Is it normal to- okay, okay, I know I criticize her just watching the other video, but is it really actually normal to, to add butter and olive oil together? Like, I'm not that much- See, I, I'm not the best cook, so I people are like, how could you not know that? That's, oh my god. I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel like, uh, butter as well, and some I don't know. Corn. I'm making homemade cream corn. I've never done this before. Now I'm going to add to the onions about 500 grams of ground beef mince. I'm going to season it with seven spice, Worcester sauce. Oh, I hate the, whole, the, 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 the low BMI voice. Black pepper some onion and some garlic powder as well and i'm also going to add some flour maybe a tablespoon or so uh, this will thicken up and make like a kind of gravy and i'm going to add a one beef stock cube to that and some water maybe three quarters of a cup or so and uh, just stir that around really well and let that cook down the liquid will cook down i'm going to add some heavy cream to the corn and some salt and pepper as well as a couple tablespoons of parmesan cheese it will just help everything um, thicken up a bit and i'll let that uh, cook down a bit until that thickens up a little bit as well all right and there you have it the corn is finished doesn't that look delicious and creamy yum the meat mixture is pretty much done i'm just going to add a splash of ketchup and a little bit of tomato paste and here it is it's thickened up quite nicely i'm actually really impressed and here are the mashed potatoes fluffy with a splash of cream butter and a little bit of salt now we layer a casserole with the meat mixture first then we layer on the cream corn and then last we have the potatoes on top. Now I'm adding some shredded mozzarella cheese. The traditional recipe doesn't call for cheese, but we're going to be pâté chinois More <laughs> trendsetters cheese. here. So, And it's out of the oven, nice and bubbly. The cheese is melted. This looks delicious. So let's plate this up. Let's go. This, oh my God. This... I'm not gonna say it looks okay, that bad, so... but I'm just like, should she really be eating this? Welcome back to another video. Um, let me just fix my tablecloth, plastic cloth here. <laughs> So, I'm so excited to eat this with you guys. Julia is too. She's up here. This is a Two staple. slices of bread. You don't need that. You have the... I can't. In French Canadian cuisine. It's called pâté chinois, which translates to Chinese pie. So, you know how you have... It's kind of like the French Canadian take on shepherd's pie or cottage pie. I usually just call it shepherd's pie, but yeah, the French is pâté chinois. All right, so I have a diet cola. The brand is Alsi. Saudi Arabia. Saudi... It's a Saudi brand. And I have some ketchup. I put ketchup on mine. In my opinion, that's the true Canadian way. If you don't, that's fine, but I do. <laughs> so, bismillah. And I have some Brussels sprouts from the air fryer with a bit of butter, salt, and pepper, and some buttered bread. You have to have white bread with butter with these. Let's try these Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Mm. They're sweet. I would love to hear Frenchie's take on so this. Good. I'm sure she isn't. This isn't correct. The correct way. But, I've been you know, seriously whatever. craving this for so long. Mix it all around. It's cheesy. Oh, someone's a little <laughs> homesick. Put that mozzarella on there. Now, I just added the cheese, but the traditional recipe apparently there's like an author who wrote a story about pâté chinois and how it's like mysterious. Oh, I know, same shirt, different video. I'm not changing, doing. I'm not putting two outfits on for the same day. I won't do. I won't do. Unless I don't want you to think it's the same day. <laughs> anyway, um, hot. Pâté chinois or shepherd's pie is like scalding hot for like an hour after it comes out. Mm, no mm. That really takes me back. 
for growing up. Because I have a lot of newcomers. So I grew up in, I'm Canadian, born and raised, and I was born in a small oh town. God. Called How many newcomers, Western. Chantel? Are you talking about the, the, the subs that you bought? And you're pretending that there are newcomers? Come on, Chantel. You know, it's going to reflect in in how many how many views you actually get, unless you're buying the views as well. I wonder how... I bet you that's what she's doing. I bet you she's buying the views, okay? And buying the subs. So she'll have to buy views for every video to supplement how like the subs that she gets. So it makes it look like that these people are actually watching her. So I wonder how much money she's actually spending on buying the views and the subs. And why the hell, if, if this is the, I mean, this is just speculation, okay? I don't have any proof that this is actually like legit what she's doing. But let's just say, you know, for like scenario wise, that she's actually doing this, okay? If this is the if that's the case and if she's been doing this for a while, why hasn't YouTube caught on to it? Because isn't it against TOS? Wouldn't they eventually ca catch on? Ottawa and Quebec. It's mostly bilingual. French and English. So because of Quebec, which is um a French province, we have a lot of French food influence. Obviously, Chantel, that's a given. Oh my god, she's she thinks that we're that stupid. And um, there are theories about where the name Pate Chinois comes from. I love how this woman, who knows nothing about the the country that she's come from, is now going to sit here and give us a a cultural lesson about the very province and country and provinces she's come from, it's all food related. All food related. That's all, that's all she cares about. At the end of the day, Chantel's one and only true religion in life is food. She will live by food and die by the by food. I'm I'm convinced of that. So I'm thinking it's like the rail when they were building the Canadian railway, um there were migrant Chinese workers and um, they were mostly fed potatoes, like meat and corn. But then it's also like, apparently they, but some also say that they ate soybeans and rice. So who knows? There's like a bunch of a few theories, but I was introduced to pate chinois um, from growing up. My grandmother made it. No, my mom made it. And the funny thing is, she made it exactly like this, but she used canned cream corn. A can of cream corn, which I love, and a can of niblets. And growing up, I was made fun of a lot in school. Like I was bullied for my weight, also for being on welfare. I was called welfare girl in elementary school sometimes. Okay. Where like I'd get made fun of like, my mom did the best she could, but she was like a single mom, right? And we didn't have a lot of money. She was going through college. And um, she was very young also. Like, they didn't let her finish high school because she was pregnant. So she had to, like, finish it later. I don't remember how she finished it, but anyway, she ended up going to college. So I'm just, I'm, I'm going to say this, okay? Given the fact... Now, I don't know when these places closed down in Canada. Okay? And I've mentioned this before because... I actually I have an interest in this subject because I've recently started watching. Well, I've been watching a series on Paramount called "The Woman in the Wall," and it's about the Magdalene Laundries in the mother and baby homes. So, from what I know, Chantel's family is primarily Catholic, right? So, they wouldn't let her finish high school. She got pregnant out of wedlock. When was this then? Like the the eighties, maybe? Early eighties? Were the so anybody in Canada, were the mother and baby homes and the laundries, were they still open around that time? 
Because if they were, let's just say this, I'm surprised, given the fact that her mom, the grandma, pri primarily Catholic, but the mom wasn't sent to one of those places. Apologies. But if they weren't open, whatever, they were all closed down by that point, then okay, you know, whatever, but... But... There was still a huge stigma around, you know, of being an unwed mother. And if you're, you know, if you were, uh, the, you know, they would send you to places like that, if you, especially if you were a Catholic. Um, so we didn't have a lot of money. So this was, shepherd's pie or potation well was considered like a poor man's meal. You know, ground beef being the cheaper, not now, maybe, but back then, the cheaper type of beef. Oh my gosh, too much cheese, maybe. And, um, oh. Hmm, another one. So I never liked it growing up because I always thought like, ugh, I don't want this poor man's meal. Now I love it. <laughs> I love it. So you were I, an ungrateful wretch when you were younger, obviously. Why am I, why am I posing that now? We all know she was an ungrateful wretch when she was younger. She was a nightmare. She's still, she's still ungrateful. I also really like the taste growing up either. Now I love it. Um. Yeah, because yeah. you just love anything food really. I remember like always wanting like when Tommy Hilfiger shirts were popular. We went to a, a flea market. It was a flea market in St. Polycarp. Anyone from around the area will know. <laughs> And they had knockoff Tommy Hilfiger, but they were like gaudy and weird. <clears throat> and my mom was like, they'll never know, they'll never know. They knew. <laughs> I got made fun of so bad. It was like a shiny material, like a turquoise, and it said Tommy, but I think there was like a spelling error. But you know what? I remember when Tom, yeah, I, I remember like I used to get Tommy Hilf Hilfiger, but see, I got the real stuff whatever yeah when i was younger that was a thing i don't know why but like i had this navy blue one like this long shirt that i really liked but yeah like tommy hilfiger with a pair of jeans yeah and the word hilfiger so i got made fun of by like a group of guys the whole day yeah i just remember that this this one i just i used to wear it all the time because I just I don't know it just it looked really good on me this, and then I had I I had a, a slew of like Tommy Hill Hill, Hill figure because we had you know we had we were a little bit more financially stable on the time plus you know um I think there was a big sale one time and I got a bunch of them but like yeah I totally get that because that was a thing. That when I was younger, like going to Old Navy, like for school clothes and stuff like that. This was in, the Tommy Hilfiger was in high school, like when I first started going to high school, like grade eight, um, maybe it was grade eight or grade nine. I'm pretty sure. I think I was in middle school or something. Being made fun of for being poor was like in elementary school. I was in middle school when, yeah, middle school, think sixth, seventh grade, middle school. Yeah, I just know I had a lot, quite a number of Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger stuff. Now, I look back, and I'm proud of that poor man's meal, or welfare meal, because 
Okay, truth is, I was rich in a lot of ways I didn't realize. I had a lot of love in my life for my family. My mom, it was like me and her against the world, man. Ma'am, she dumped you off on your de depressed grandma because she c couldn't afford to keep you anymore. And she wasn't able to trap the fa your father. Loving family, my ass. I'm sorry. I'm not, like, trying to be a bitch when I say that, but, I mean, let's face facts here. We know what the truth is, Chantel. And I get it. You're, you're trying to show that you're grateful for what you had during trying times, you know? I get that. But it's like, stop trying to rewrite history here. And I turned out, I turned out to like this meal very much. I can tell you like anything food related. It doesn't matter what it is. So if you ever feel bad, because you think what you're eating is a poor man's meal, don't. Food is food. You know, mashallah. Every food is amazing. I, I've i never been ashamed of being, you know, we had our moments when we were financially strapped and we had moments of po prosperity. It was kind of, you know, you know, whatever. I, I was never ashamed whatsoever because my parents always made sure we were fed. We had clothes on our backs, you know, and uh, even when we were at, you know, even when when we were financially strapped, like, we would go to the thrift store and stuff and find really good stuff. Stuff that even my friends were just like, oh, wow, that's a really nice shirt. And they would never know that it was, like, from a thrift store. I mean, these are, like, name brand good stuff. So it's like, it was never an issue. Wait, wait a minute. I tell a lie. There was one guy that... I don't know why he didn't like me so much. I didn't like him either, but he used to tease tease me about going to the thrift stores. And then one time I saw him and his mom go to the thrift store, and apparently they were regulars. I'm like, bitch, really? Really? You're going to sit here and t and tease me about going to the thrift store? And you are a mo and your mom are, are regulars in the, in the local thrift store that we had in town? Get Get out of my face with that shit. And so I remember confronting him about it. I was like, I saw you at the thrift store. And he's like, no, you didn't. That wasn't me. I'm like, yes, I did. I know, I saw you and your mom. I know what you bought. You're, he was even wearing the shirt that he bought that day in school. I'm just like, you bought that shirt from the thrift store. I saw you buy it. I mean, and the thing is, there's no problem with going to thrift stores. Hell, I mean, there are YouTubers that like, make whole channels about what they got, get at the thrift store and stuff like that, you know? There's a one YouTuber that, like, can, like, is able to find, like, some of the most beautiful, like, vintage, like, you know, pieces in thrift stores and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's a... Honestly, I never, I never had a problem with it. Still don't have a problem with it. Actually, I learned this recently, but it makes sense now. I'm surprised I didn't realize it earlier, but in Islam, it's so haram to, like, diss food. One, because so many people are starving. My mom makes, um, there's a couple of English, like, poor man meals that my mom makes on the regular. Even to this, you know, even when we were, fun, we were, when we either we, when we were financially strapped or when we were, like, oh, you know, financially stable, my mom would still make the same stuff. It doesn't make a difference. You know what I mean? Like, Two, um, it, food's a blessing. You're now just learning this? Seriously? Depends what kind, you know, as long as you don't let it harm you, but, which I know I have. Chantel, <laughs> food harms you? Cause the kind of food that you buy harms you because it's, it's, you're eating, buying and eating food that you know you shouldn't be eating. Okay. That's harming you. 
even if it, for just some people it's not harmful it's harming you because it's it's exacerbating and making your medical conditions worse so you're haram haram every day basically am i saying that this meal is necessarily like bad i mean no it's not that bad but i like his beans and wieners with toast crap dinner and wieners macaroni and cheese my mom did the same thing. I'm not gonna lie. My mom did the same thing. Still to this day, we do stuff like that. I mean, like, you know, beans on toast, you know, with some ba bacon and eggs. I mean, there's no problem with that stuff. Wieners and mac and cheese. I don't see any problems with that. But then over the years, I've, I've, been, I've become, like, less fond of hot dogs. I don't know why. It just kind of gives me headache. You know, like, but, you know, I've always been like, you know, food is food. I mean, she's not wrong. Food is food. You know, be grateful for what you have. Because there are people out there that have less than you do. Macaroni and bees. There's a follower with that, with that handle. For Chantel, see, I understand where she's coming from, and I don't disagree with what she's saying on on, cer on certain aspect, like, certain respect, but, like, coming from her, it's, like, so fake. Because it's, like, you will put anything in your mouth because you're so addicted to food. Food is your actual religion. It, you idolize food. I mean, that's how, that's how deep this go, the rabbit hole goes. Like, she literally worships the altar of food. She will, she lives and she will die by food. It is what it is. That's her true, her true religion. That's her true faith. That's the only constant with Chantel is, is food. I did a menu today. I had a very productive day. I'm, I was just so sick of like ordering up. I'm like, I need to eat a home cooked meal. And I love comfort food. As soon as you get sick and tired of cooking and home cooked meals, you're gonna start ordering ordering out again. It's just a vicious cycle, Chantel. Because just because it's a home cooked meal doesn't make it any less unhealthy. You do not know how to cook healthy food for yourself. Food that you should be eating. But yeah, every time I'm not necessarily dissing this, but you, you know, she's put a lot of things in in the in the ingredients of this meal that is not diabetic friendly. You know, I'd be off to school. I would ask my mom. What are we having for dinner tonight after school? We're having shepherd's pie. And I feel so bad at her going like, oh, why? This cold is pretty good. I can't taste the difference. God, I, I can imagine having a child like that being like, you're struggling to make men's meet. You're trying to do the best you can. And all your child does is complain about not being able to, to, to have, have, you know, the nice clothes and the the kind of food. It's just like, I bet it was so bad that, that maybe that's part of the reason why her mom dumped off Chantel on the grandma. Because she's like, you know what? My child isn't obviously happy with what I'm providing for her. So, you know, you give it a go because I'm I'm done. Because Chantel is has you know has has always been and will always be an ungrateful biatch. She's sitting here all trying to be all pious and like be grateful for what you have, blah blah blah, and talk about how she how she wishes she was as grateful back then. Bitch, get out of my face! This is just all an act. It's performative. You're just trying to act all pious for the non-existent new like new like Muslim 
audience that you don't have. Now you're even... I wonder if she started buying this soda to, to kind of, you know, like, look, I'm buying, you know, soda from, like, this brand, whatever, you know, to, to kind of, like, make her more... I don't know. Like, she's doing something, and it's just ridiculous. That's super low. Not aspartame. It has acesulfame potassium. I don't know what that is. Is that aspartame? <laughs> Sounds like aspartame. Acesulfame. <clears throat> oh, well. Whatever. Everything is going to freaking kill us someday. I don't know. Like, I've seen four different videos back to back on whether eggs are good for you or not. So confusing. Yum. I love Brussels sprouts. They're one of my favorite vegetables. That and broccoli. I like raw broccoli too, but it just, it's all the chewing. My jaw gets tired after. Anyway. Oh my god, this is your content, Chantel. This is this is so riveting, Chantel. I'm I'm so riveted. This is so exciting. You sitting here talking about food once again. I guess that's it. I just wanted to uh, just share this dinner with you, but it brings me back. It brings me back for sure. Oh my god, she got pissed off at that motorcycle. You see her face? It brings me back to remember. I remember how I hate, I despised this meal. And now it's something I love, I cherish. <laughs> I love it, I, you know. She's yeah. homesick. I told my mom, I'm like, I'm making a fishy walk. She's like, wow, you used to hate that growing up. I said, I know, but anyway. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I guess that's it. Thanks for having dinner with me. I hope you enjoy. And I hope that you have something delicious for dinner today. Thank you for watching me. It means a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I used to, I I've always loved shepherd's pie, man. Like, seriously. My mom makes a mean shepherd's pie. But anyways, um, that was, these videos were depressing. Like, honestly de depressing. Like, what? Oh, my God. I, I gotta go, you guys. Like, I'm already depressed as it is. I don't need to be even more depressed. But anyways, until next time, folks. Toodaloo, my loves. <laughs>